The challenge with a career in music is unlike most other careers, you don't really have an employer. So you think about, you know, becoming a teacher or a doctor or an engineer or an accountant, you know, or I mean, a, a plumber, I mean, any number of careers where often you will have a company that you work for. And as a musician, you generally don't, unless you're a music teacher as a career, which is one of you know the ways that you can maybe probably more a little bit more stable and predictable careers in music is as a teacher, and that's one of the ways I actually still make um, majority of my income is from teaching privately. Though I'm you know obviously pursuing a performance career, and as that continues to to grow, you know that that may change. Um, but the thing you have to sit down and think about is. How are you going to make a living from people paying you to do music? What are they going to pay you to do? And that's the question that you have to be able to answer. And it's, you know, sometimes you, and you got to be realistic about it. I mean, optimistic and seek for your goals, but be realistic about how it's going to work. So again, um, YouTube, you know, YouTube is, is a fantastic medium for exposure. And as many can attest, you know, there are a lot of people that make a great living off of YouTube. Um, that said, you know, not everybody who has a YouTube following has been able to turn that into a career or at least turn their YouTube channel itself into a career. You know, some people, but but you can they can use YouTube maybe to open other doors and so f you know for you if you're you know trying to think about a music career maybe you can have a career where you know YouTube where your song downloads and you know your concert touring from YouTube or that kind of thing will 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 work you know for me it seems like the way it's happening is YouTube is helping me reach a lot of a bigger audience get some of a following but also um, get to know people in the music industry who will hire me for other things so my living is coming more currently from teaching, from composing, from publishing, um, you know, like getting paid royalties on the books and CDs and things like that that I'm doing at, with the, the label and with the publisher, as well as my own self-published stuff that I put on iTunes or put out on my website. Um, but then also concerts, you know, I do corporate gigs and so you get paid for these gigs and, you know, you got to have agents or, or you the ability yourself to go out and get that work or both. You know, I work with some agents, I, I do some of the scouting for work myself and um, you know you get to a point maybe where you do go on tour but it's just it's important to recognize that it's not quite as straightforward as just well I'll go get a million views on a YouTube video and make lots of money or go get all these Facebook fans and then suddenly make lots of money because the, the reality is um, those numbers need to be very very big for you to start you know to get ad revenue that really helps you know you need millions of views or sponsorships you know a lot Lot of youtubers that's where they're making their money is sponsorship so advice what would I give I mean it's always good to focus have something specific that you offer um, generally speaking I think with YouTube it's good to have a, a marketable de demographic you don't want your demographic to be everybody you want your demographic to be specific you know there's these channels that can really target because they have a very specific people with a specific interest that watch their channel can command much higher rates and sponsorships and it's thus much easier to make a living than a channel that just has a general you know audience and maybe who is not as driven to watch the content regularly you want to have regular content things like that other things you know really developing your show if you're a musician and a performer developing the entertainment side if you're entertaining you're much more likely to get hired for work than if you're just good at music because there's a lot uh, that, that's just the reality. You're, you're, you're going to get hired for more work and probably command a higher price point if you're entertaining in addition to just being a good musician um, and being easy to work with, being uh, reliable, dependent, all those kinds of things. And then just understanding how to diversify, or not diversify, understanding all the opportunities for revenue because it's not just ad revenue, it's not just song sales. I've had, you know, because I'm a composer, I have skill as a transcriber of music. People will come to me and, and hire me for transcription projects. Projects. And when you're an entrepreneur just starting out, any work is good work. And so if you can get hired to do that, that's great, you know, because it all relates back in. And, um, you know, I have friends that they'll take background music gigs, even though they want to be doing stage performing, but because you just need the money right now. So, 
you know, it's difficult. It's difficult to make. It's difficult to make a living. It's difficult to you know pay your rent. And most musicians, myself included, um, you know, have worked or still work part time. You know, for a, a period of time with another job. You know, while they're building their music career, um, until that point when you're you're able to fully support yourself. But I think the most important thing is be really sure of what you want to do because if you really do want to do it, it's possible. It's absolutely possible to discover you know what unique thing you have that you can make a career out of, but be very sure that that's what you want to do because the sacrifices are going to be big. And, you know, for me, this past year has been my year of, you know, coming out in the music industry where people start to know who I am. I mean, I'm literally, and within less than 12 months, you know, I have suddenly gotten a contract from the number one music publisher in the world, Hal Leonard. And, you know, I've just now signed a record deal with an independent music label, but one that's placed, you know, number one billboard album and you know great relationships in the industry and you know I've had it now a show with over 1300 you know over nearly 1400 people at that show and millions of views on YouTube but I started on YouTube six years ago my first video my, my vi viral video that everybody you know a lot of people familiar with had over 3 million views that was like my 70th video that I'd made so I'd made a lot of videos that didn't get a lot of attention before and I had you know I started giving concerts full-length concerts in 2009 it's 2015 now, you know, I mean, it's, I've been doing um, things for a long time and trying really, really hard when the whole time I was a student in school, I was always trying to run the music business and writing and releasing books and CDs. And so I guess I'm trying to say even now, I, you know, it's, it's still, I have a long road ahead to make a living, but I'm confident and excited about where it's headed. But I think it's always good to maintain that perspective and be realistic about the fact that it's going to take time. And, you know, you could just got to not give up. There were times when I, I gave up for a while. In fact, I, I took a hiatus from YouTube for a couple of years because I just felt like I was never going to make it. And then I decided to give it another shot again. And I started making videos again. And about eight months after I started back into YouTube was when I had that viral hit. So... Anyway, if that is some helpful perspective, really know, to summarize, I guess, really know that you want to do it. Be really, really sure because it's not for a lot of people. You'll probably be happier having another thing as your career and having music as a passion for a lot of people. But for some, that is where you'd be happiest is to have that as your career. Understand how people are going to pay you. What are they going to pay you for? Is it to perform? Is it to teach? Is it to record? Is it to compose? It could be any one of those things. There's careers in all of those things. Figure out what it is and then um, perfect your skill in that and just do it a lot because your first opportunities are always going to be unpaid. First times you're performing, the first times you're composing or recording, you're not going to get paid. You're going to work on exposure for a long time. That's how it is for almost all musicians. You work on exposure. I've done that too. And then you start getting to the point where you can, you know, start getting paid and, and really build your portfolio and just, just have a good attitude and faith pray about it. You know, it's, and, uh, and collaborate. Music is a collaborative industry. You, I have not got, I could not have been where I am today if it were not for, um, the friends that have helped in musical collaborations and connect me to people. The relationships have opened doors, huge doors. Some of these huge doors that have opened to me have been because of relationships that I had with people. So